Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar. Oh my goodness, we are in a fight immediately. Wow, okay then. Uh, I guess that's a thing that happened. Um, well. <laughs> Alright, so we can right mouse button to eat. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played this game and uh, if you guys saw the previous season then, uh, you know, things turned out to be just a little bit of a disaster. Okay, that's probably a lie. Uh, it was a lot of disaster, you guys. It was a lot of disaster, and uh, the result of that is that we're here once again at square one. We have to find a maid again, so I'm not entirely sure where they're at. Let's look at our map here. Uh, we're kind of in the midst of just a cluster, but it does seem- okay, there actually seems to be one just back behind us. So, and I can hear, like, I think they're alligators down there. Uh, we're not gonna mess with them right now. Our first job here is to actually find a mate and then to find a den. So, we're gonna go ahead, we'll find a mate, and, uh, for those of you guys who do know that this game has a little bit, um, it does, it's not, it doesn't quite, uh, it's not quite like Wolf Quest where they they time skip. It, it, we're not gonna we're not gonna show anything. I will skip through it. Uh, but we do have a mate here, so I guess I'm gonna do what I did last time and try to check out several different mates. Maybe even watch them kind of competing with each other because I want to know which one of them is going to be the strongest. I mean, we're going we're gonna to look for some good genetics if we possibly can. So this guy should follow us. We'll see if we can... Oh, 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 we're going to... Hi, we're going to have to fight here. Uh, we're going to have to fight that guy. Well, that worked out in the end. But uh, we're going to try and see which of them... Is somebody swimming across to us? Or is he just right on the other side? I think there's one right on the other side or something, but uh, we kind of want to we want to see which of the males is going to be the strongest. We we want to pick a strong mate, even though he's not going to stay with us. Hopefully, that would mean he'd have good genetics that he would pass on to uh, pass on to his cubs. So we we want to pick a good mate. We we want to be careful there. Um, now that is something where um, that's not a part of the game. Like it it. I don't think there's any difference between the mates except for color, but, uh, you know, it, it, it feels more realistic to do it this way, and it's a little bit more interesting. So let's actually, I think we can speed up, we can trot, um, probably at the cost of a little bit of stamina, but we can also sprint around. Now, the sprint mechanic in this is not fantastic. Oh, there's a deer right there, apparently. I didn't even see it at first. Uh, the sprint mechanic in this is not fantastic because while you have a run like this, it just, it goes away very, like, you run out of, of energy really fast, which is understandable, granted, but, uh, at the same time, it doesn't help you get around places faster than a snail's pace, so that's one thing I don't like about this game is there's not a very good sprint mechanic, so sometimes we'll use the, uh, the leap, the leap ability to, to help us. Okay, there's another deer up here. We're gonna head in this direction and see if we can catch this deer just because we're getting a little bit hungry, and we'll continue our search for, um, we'll continue our search for a mate here. Uh, now, if you guys have not kept up with the previous series, you haven't seen the previous seasons, uh, this cougar here is actually named Kira. She is the second uh, generation that we have. We started out with our first mama cougar, and now this is our second. This is her daughter, actually the only survivor um, of her litter. She did make it, thankfully. She was the only one to do so, but okay, I want to eat... And, uh, there we go. Now, let's see. What I'm looking for here, we're actually pretty close, is a bridge. So, there should be a bridge right up in this area up here, it looks like. Uh, just a little bit farther, and I think there's actually another male right over here. Possibly. I think there might- is he on the other side of the water? I think, uh, he might be on the other side of the water, actually. We're gonna head for the bridge and actually cross so that uh, we can kind of get over there. Wait a second. I think that was just a bird sound, but for a second I thought I heard a hunter. Is he on the island? I can't actually tell. You're kind of in the way, buddy. Um, I think there might be another one on this side. Oh no, he is right on the other side. Okay. So I want to see which one of these guys is going to be the strongest. I kind of want to watch him in action. They will follow us around a little bit here. 
And I kind of just want to see what they're going to do. I want to see if they're strong or weak or if they're winning fights or losing fights. So we're going to be a little choosy. That's a wolf. Okay, we got to take this guy down. He's not going to be a big threat to us, but uh, if we had if we had uh, cubs, he absolutely would be. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go with the first male we find here though. We're gonna wander around a bit and see who we can find. Oh, there's another wolf. We gotta take this guy down. Um, and cougars are and wolves are natural competitors. I mean they're both large predators. Uh, they do come into competition, and uh, we see that even in Wolf Quest, we see the other side of that conflict reflected with how the cougars end up being a threat to us there. Wait a second. What's going on? Oh, there's one right here? Oh, he's he's kind of freaking out a little bit. He doesn't really want to get caught in a fight, but he's trying to call his pack, I think. Oh! Oh! There's another cougar over there. I think that's another... Oh, there's one behind us. I think that's actually another male, by the looks of it. He somehow got across, I think? That guy's on the run. We're gonna leave him alone. But that's what I'm hearing. Is that fight progressing down here? Okay, is there a bridge nearby? We just cross the bridge. Where are we? Oh, we're right there. Yeah, if we keep moving in this direction, there is another bridge further down. So, this guy looks pretty tough. I mean, he's not too, well... Okay, maybe he is kind of bothered by the wolf. <laughs> he's running away. Is he really worth our time? Uh, he, he's on the run. I mean, I guess, in fairness, if he doesn't have a reason to fight the wolf, I, I can't quite blame him, but, uh, Kira's not exactly a, a weak cougar. I mean, she's fairly tough. She's fended off wolves. She did relatively well. Dude, there's a horse attacking us. Uh, but she did relatively well even on her- Oh my goodness, are you gonna make me fight the wolves? Oh, why are we standing on his head? He's just running away. He's running away. Are we going to have to save him? I think we're going to have to save him from these wolves, because he is definitely being attacked. Okay, so we just saved one of the prospective mates from wolves. <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn between perhaps that would uh, perhaps bond them together, but I mean, he's not going to stay to raise the, uh, the cubs anyway. But at the same time, he's probably also pretty weak genetically, then, perhaps. He might not be the strongest cougar around, so I think we're going to keep looking. That pale-colored one has been following us for quite some time here, so um, I want to eat. Uh, and again, this game does weird things like dropping us on the head of another cougar, so be ready for that, you guys. Sometimes things get a little bit wild. Um, where are the others? So there's actually one, if we go down to the end of this, there's actually one that is, um, lurking down at the far end here. So, we'll see. Um, are they following us still? I can't see where they went. I'm kind of, I kind of like the pale one. Oh, they're, they actually are fighting each other. Okay, they decided they were actually going to get into it, and, uh, okay, yeah, that... That darker colored one is definitely uh, the weaker one, so I don't know, you guys. He might not be the, uh, oh, is that horse still chasing us? I don't, I don't want to deal with this right now. We all are also playing on easy. Um, I, my goal is to eventually, oh, great, another rival. My goal is to eventually increase the difficulty, but uh, given that we've had terrible luck even on the easiest difficulty, I'm not quite sure we're ready for that yet. So who is this? This is a fox. We can't actually catch him. The one good thing that is that has come out of this is that if we go to character upgrade, we already have some stats here, so we can continue to upgrade. Okay, we need a lot more. I want to upgrade stamina next, I think. Uh, but the one good thing that came from this is that we uh, we managed to um, we managed to get quite a few stats. Who who is that? Was that? I don't even know what I. I think it was. A, I think it was a, a rabbit that I just took down. Are those guys? They're still. They're still duking it out over there. There's actually a rival female over here. This moose might come for us too. Oh, he is coming for us. He might. Nope. He's actually gonna come after us. I don't. Why? I didn't want to fight this guy. I'm having to fight everyone. I don't really want to fight. Oh, here's a rival female. Hey, you get out of here. You have a very pretty coat, but you know what? You're a competitor to me, and I don't... I'm not... No, you're not welcome here. This is my territory. What is going on? What? Oh, those are foxes. Why are they circling me? I don't even have cubs. 
Well, I guess they're they're looking for some sort of opportunity. Maybe they're hoping they I can make a kill to, that they can steal or something. There's a deer. We're gonna ignore the deer. We're not that hungry right now. We just need to let our stamina uh, go up. But there seems to be another male cougar down here, so we'll see if we can find him. Uh, I think he's just on the other side of this bridge, perhaps? So I guess we don't necessarily need to take the bridge. It's just we need to be mindful if we have someone following us who we want to follow, um, they can't take the they they can't just cross the water. They don't they don't like to do that. Hello, who are you? This is the one that's been on the run. Okay. Um so he's not our best option at the moment. Where is the one here? Actually up a little ways. So we've got to go up this uh this mountain, this dreaded mountain. I don't like this mountain. I've had entirely too many bad experiences here. Uh this one. Oh, oh, oh here we go. We got a deer. We got a deer. That was good. I was getting a little tiny bit hungry, so it's nice to be able to hunt and kill along the way. We do have a fox that's following us, and we have two uh we have two males. So that's a fox right there, but there's a third male up here that I kinda wanna see. Uh, what he's all about, and uh, if he seems strong or not. I think he's up farther by the looks of it, so I don't think... How do we get up? This mountain always confuses me. It is absolutely terrible to figure out. Um, I think we have to go back this way. There's a, a little passage up, and it's really, really tough to find. And it's probably good that we're doing this now rather than when we have, uh, rather than when we have cubs because that could be a little bit of a, of a bad thing. All right, wait, is, did he just, he just slid down the mountain, I think. Is that, um, yeah, that was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah, because the other two are right over here. So this one's a little darker in color as well. Um, I'm gonna see what he does if he ends up being stronger than the other one. I do like his coat color, uh, but of course coloration isn't everything. So we're gonna wander off again and we'll kind of let him follow us. I think he might be, he looks a lot like the weaker one that we have run into. But if he continues to follow us as well, then I guess we'll see there. Now, there is a cougar that's surrounded by carcasses down there. So perhaps he's been doing some hunting. Oh! Oh, that's a rival! Get out of here! No! No! Again, very, very pretty, but no. This is- yeah, this is our territory. This, this is our territory. We're gonna, going to raise our cubs here. Um, we're not gonna let you be hanging around and, and ha having your babies out here because they're gonna be competition to us and your competition to finding a mate. So, I guess what I want to do, I'm gonna come down around the mountain. What is the best way of going about this? I'm just gonna circle it. And we'll come down around the mountain and then we'll go back and find the other one and see uh, what he thinks. So we've got someone following us pretty closely. Is this... That's the dark one. So he seems... He's just kind of silently following us around. So thus far, he and the pale one are our best candidates. Uh, this guy's following us pretty closely. The other two got distracted fighting again by the looks of it. And the fourth cougar is over here, I believe. Yeah, there he is. He's wandering around. Or is that the pale one? Actually, I think that might be the pale one. So who are the ones over here? I think that was the original one who may have gotten a little bit lost. So who are the two that are fighting then? I want to see. Oh, that's a that's a bear. That's actually a bear. Is this guy gonna help us defend? Nope. Kira is gonna have to take care of herself. <laughs> Good thing she's very capable of doing that. But uh, yeah, he he wasn't too much help there. I can't really fault him. Um, he's pretty much out for his own survival. He just needs to leave behind his genetic legacy. That's going to be his goal here. Okay, we've got a fox. We got to eat now. We can go ahead and keep moving. And I want to see... Are the, is So is the pale one here? Oh, they're right here. Yeah, so the pale one is up here. So that's, a, that's an entirely different cougar. So we're going to head back this way. We'll go back down. I know I'm kind of circling around and uh, taking a long time to figure this out. But you know what? We're talking about finding a mate. That's going to be... That's going to determine the future of our cubs, pretty much. This is kind of important. So I don't mind sliding down there. Because I don't think there's any fall damage or anything. Uh-oh. Is that... That... That could just be wolves. 
I think that's just wolves. I heard barking. I think that's wolves, I'm pretty sure, but are they fighting the cougar? He's... Are we heading the wrong way? We are heading the wrong way. We gotta go this way. Where are the wolves? I'm gonna ignore that guy. He's slow and I don't feel like fighting right now. There is a rival female lingering around, too, so we gotta be kind of cautious of her. We might have to take her out if we find her, but um, we just need to, right now, focus on finding a mate. We will have to face rival females. There's just no way that we can uh, keep all the trees marked. Um, the trouble with the rival females is you just, now, that's the one thing that's gonna be a disadvantage to having done this already is that, um, we, we ha now have, um, <laughs> We now have a bunch of rival females wandering around. Okay, so he is a, he is still pale, but he's a little more gray. And, oh, they're probably about to, to duke it out. So we know nothing about this gray cougar. They're not happy with each other, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, find the others. I think they went off this way by the looks of it. Are they fighting? I think they might have gotten into a fight. Yeah, they're fighting. I want to see who runs from this. <laughs> I want to see who's strong. Okay, so it's the darker one ran away again. I'm kind of liking this gray one. Thus far, the lighter colored ones have been uh, the ones that I have felt are the best. But I kind of want to see what the others are, are going to be like as well. Um, I'm not sure. Is that a human up there? I'm pretty sure that's a hunter. Okay, we gotta be kind of cautious. He's standing up there. Um, you can just see him silhouetted. He kind of just vanished in the fog now. Okay, there's... Oh, he, this guy's taking on a bison. Hello, look at that. He's not damaging it at all. Oh, yeah, he ran from the bison. <laughs> oh, now the bison has taken him down. Okay, oh, this guy's gonna come after us. All right, he's healed up completely now. All right, so if we dodge around, this is how you take down a bison. So the pale one kind of uh, kind of didn't do so well in that fight. This is one of the darker colored ones. This is the one that seemed a little bit braver. This wasn't the one that uh, was gonna run. And then this is the one that just got taken down by the bison. And these other two are fighting. Oh, okay. So, that's the gray one. No, is that the gray one? No, that's the pale one. This is the one that got taken down by the bison, right? I think? Now I'm getting them all confused. Yeah, that's the gray one. So he circled around. These two are, are fighting. Oh no, do they look the same? Okay, so this... They're both the same color. So the one that's attacking there... These guys are gonna fight. The lighter one of these two is the one that I think is a little bit more cowardly. Uh, these guys are gonna fight as well. Uh, we'll see. I wanna- <laughs> This guy just doesn't care. Yeah, the lighter one's the one that's consistently running away. This guy just doesn't care. He's just completely chill. The others can attack him. He doesn't really run. He's walked off a few times, but, um, he's holding his ground fairly well. I think he's maybe a tiny bit darker. I don't know. These two are these two are currently my top candidates. I want to see which one of them wins the fight, and that may determine which one we end up choosing as a mate. So, oh, it looks like the the darker or the the gray one ran. So I think this guy's chasing. Uh, I think this guy is our best bet. He seems fairly strong, and uh, I I I like him. I think he is. Oh, he's gonna fight again. I think he's a pretty good candidate. Yeah, that other one keeps running. This guy's gonna chase him off again. So I think we're gonna take him as our mate here. Uh, this is the darkest colored one. So we'll go ahead and uh, I will time skip. So once he, once we can get him away from the others and kind of see, oh, maybe we can lure him across the bridge here and see if we can get the others to not chase us. Nope, they're all following. <laughs> oh no, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna try and kind of separate them out, perhaps. Oh, they're gonna fight on the bridge. Why are you hissing at us? Excuse you. Um, so, oh. Well, now, the underdog there, who kept running away, did manage to chase this guy off, although I think he was a little bit injured. I still, I still like this one the best. Is he gonna go this way? 
Uh, the underdog is really pursuing it now, but those two are fighting, so we're gonna chase this guy off. We'll try and get him perhaps a ways away. We'll see if, um, if we can lure him away from the other so that we can have a little peace. And, uh, I will go ahead and time skip. Alright, and there he goes. So, now our quest is going to be to find Den, but we're going to deal with that in the next episode because it is about time to wrap up. So, next time we're going to choose a Den and, uh, oh wait, did we... I think we might have accidentally selected this den. Uh, I'm, I didn't really mean to do that, but I think our, our fate has been chosen for us. And that's kind of, um... Yeah, that's kind of not what I was hoping for. Because this is the den where bad things have happened, if I recall. Or actually, I think it might have been the next one over. But nevertheless, this is not the, not the den I was really hoping for. But in any case, I think our fate has been chosen for us. So we're going to live with the consequences of that. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.